Hey yo, what is going on you guys? Kalahandro here and welcome back to another episode of Mageon. In this episode, we're going to be building, well, we're going to be finishing the SM Mall of Asia and Reclamation, which I've already started in a previous episode where I built the mall itself. If you guys want to check that out, the link is going to be down below. But in this episode, we're going to be filling in the empty areas with residential, commercial, offices, parks, and all that kind of stuff. But the SM by the Bay, which is famous in the Philippines for having the Ferris wheel and overlooking the beautiful, majestic Manila Bay, will be in the next episode. So if you guys want to check that out, click like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification to be notified whenever I upload a brand new episode. With that being said, let's get started. So I'm starting off by rebuilding this place, demolishing some stuff. This roundabout has to go because it doesn't really fit this place. Traffic here is not even, there's nobody driving here and the roundabout just doesn't seem to be that necessary. And once you see later in the episode what we have replaced it with, it would make a lot more sense. But now I'm just updating the road system of this area to be more bike and pedestrian friendly because before it was very very much car centered so and to improve the bikeability of this place well before we already had like a bike trail as you can see that goes along the entire waterfront that's the Magayot Trail so it starts from the first few builds of the series along the entire waterfront and I just wanted to redo that and make it more you know connected properly with the entire system and to connect it properly with the entire system um, we have a bridge here on the left as you can see it's quite steep I mean it's quite high and we want to minimize I mean maximize the space we have how are people gonna be biking from this side down to that side solution to that is to make this loop which is a bike loop so it's a smooth gradual slope up into the bridge so that people can comfortably bike across the space yes i don't know if this is realistic enough the scale of the city is quite small so if this would be realistic for a comfortable slope it would be a little bit larger but you know the city skylines but it works it works a lot of people are biking you're going to be seeing that later on in the live play and yeah this entire bike system also serves as a flood protection system in the city uh, because you know it serves kind of like a seawall but instead of being it ugly it's a quite beautiful space if you guys want to check that video out the link is also down below it's an amazing way to make your city safe while being accessible for the public it's not an eyesore people would rather be there than it being just a gigantic sea wall by the sea destroying the view of the sea or whatnot see 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 anyways let's get back to what we're doing we're fixing up the cycling infrastructure we are adding in dedicated bike lanes this is the magayan trail by the way and we're using intersection marking tool to lay down the uh, lines where people should be biking and this is an, an amazing place to be manila actually has improved its biking infrastructure but it's still so far behind in every sense you know it's still it's beside a busy road in edsa and you know it's not that safe and people want to be safe people won't bike unless it's safe that's why during the pandemic a lot of people preferred cycling and it was an amazing way to go around the city but now i am not quite sure but yeah but here in magayon you can cycle anywhere you want because it's you know flat but yeah uh the roundabout yes i have removed the roundabout and instead of that we're going to be placing instead of the roundabout i placed a sunken metro station now i've been thinking should i make it sunken leveled or elevated 
I decided to make it sunken and a mix of elevated and leveled, but the station itself is underground, but you're gonna be seeing the entire track go down. It's gonna be sunken, it's not gonna be underground. And here, this is where I put the roundabout instead. It's located in a place which makes a lot more sense. It's located in the intersection of the Magayan Boulevard and the main circumferential road, the inner circumferential road, which is inspired by Edsa. And the outer one is inspired by C5. We're gonna be seeing that in a future episode. Maybe in the next episode, we're gonna be seeing the Edsa because it's the February 25, people power revolution, yes, yes. It's a monumental day in our history because that was a day when we ended the 20 year dictatorship of Ferdinand Marcos. Yes, if you guys want a little bit more history, look it up. <laughs> but basically, you know, we got back our democracy after 20 years of complete control by one person and his wife. Well, anyways, yes. Yeah, so what I'm building in, I'm just filling in the empty areas. Those buildings along the road, those like cube rectangles that you see there, those are offices. And these are commercial areas. Yes, yes. These are amazing assets. Assets. These are, I think, Japanese ones. Yes, they're part of a collection, an asset creator. If you guys want to check the asset list, the link is down below. But I will be updating it because some new assets I have removed and added. It still it has to be changed. With Magayon, a lot of change happens. A lot of things come and go and then return and sometimes don't come again. And speaking of return and don't come again and new and old a lot of changes happening yes yes we're adding in these pathways which was removed they were originally here in the episode when i built this and this parking lot was a lot more you know upscale than with the plain concrete one and i'm restoring it to what it originally was which is this red brick parking lot thing here it's quite amazing it's quite nice i like it because it kind of differentiates itself from the place where people walk and the place where people bike even though it's supposed to be like gray because as you can see the parking lot in the netherlands type road is gray and the orange pinkish red is the one it is for a cyclist but yeah who cares it is what it is and I'm going to be also adding some planters on the side so that we can have greenery and shade and plants and trees and whatnot. Because this is in the 2030s in the lore of the series. And that's why we have a lot of foliage here. I'm thinking that the government of Magayon subsidizes planting trees. And the weather here is quite nice. So, you know, trees are all the way. Very good. Very nice. So, yeah, I'm also adding in custom planters by using procedural objects to resize them as well. Another unique thing about plays in the Philippines, especially in the urban areas, is that we have these fences on the side of the roads, especially in Makati and business districts, business centers. And I wanted to add that flair with it as well. And I've downloaded these newer um, networks, which is nice because they're no longer props and, you know, it's much easier to control. But yeah, here we have SM by the Bay. I mean, Jollibee by the way. So yeah, I just added an appeal so that we have a sign. I built that actually in the previous episode when I built this. I mean, in a, in a previous, not in the previous. Because if I say if it's in the previous, that means the episode before this. And if I say at a previous episode, that's, we're not, we're ambiguous. We're not saying that just like the episode before that. Anyways, grammar tangent out of mind. I'm adding in more trees, more trees, more trees. I don't know if I'm going overboard on the trees, but you know, it never hurts to have a lot of shade and green spaces IRL, but the maintenance, I'm not quite sure. It's just a game though, it's just a game. But yeah, here I'm placing down residential areas. Yes, as you can see, they are very, they have the same design. Uh, buildings forming a courtyard in the middle and in the middle is a pool but I decided to change that later on because it didn't seem to fit quite well it was too cramped and the buildings were a little bit too big for the scale of this build and also here by the way I'm placing down this office here to fit this um, empty lot and I think I did quite good it's supposed to be the mall of Asia arena in real life but I have this asset actually but it's 
quite low resolution and it's a little bit big so yeah here i'm going to be redoing this entire residential spaces you know they were yeah as you can see there are three separate ones and later on i decided to just make it into one big residential area public housing i guess affordable plus private or mid-range housing you know because you have to balance the housing in the city like singapore which is what we're taking inspiration with the housing but here the architecture is a bit more hmm, how can i say this canadian i'm not sure if you guys want to check out the buildings i have an asset list and if you find a building that has the same design as this click it and click the um asset creator and their collection and you're going to be getting all of this right there the amazing thing about this asset is that it already has details in it so i don't have to waste my time detailing it manually and the scale of them is perfect and they have this part of the wall which is like they have one side which is completely like flat i guess but it still has windows so that's perfect to place here along the side near the road the wide roads and they have this design which is they have a base which is the commercial and the top is like all residential so this place is quite a livable neighborhood i decided to remove this because it once it was once again a little bit too big and i decided to add in the same type of building right here but I'm still, you know, using the same ideology or design that in the building, in the middle of them, there has to be empty space for public use. And they still have like, there's still like three separate spaces with three separate courtyards. One of them having a basketball court, one of them having a tennis court, and one of them having a pool. Now, everybody who's living in this compound can't use the pool but yeah that's the public housing complex right there i'm not sure if the pool is for everybody i think that's for the private residents but it is what it is we'll see we'll see comment down below what you think it should be but here we're now building the amusement park in this lot right here because in real life in the land reclamation in the philippines in manila there is this star city I think it went it was burned it got, it went on fire in 2019 2020 I guess and recently it just reopened right when Omi was like peaking which was like crazy but Enchanted Kingdom closed during that time and they decided to open when everyone was like getting sick but you know at least it op it's open now it's open now and yeah but enchanted kingdom is a lot larger this one is quite small as you can see here as well but star city is an indoor amusement park so i decided to give it a, a different take i'm gonna be making this an indoor outdoor experience later on you'll see how but for now we're adding in trees on the inside adding in some palm trees to give it the tropical aesthetic and adding in more foliage here on the sides i'm making this an indoor outdoor uh, amusement park by using these glass surfaces and placing them as a roof now if i were to design this like properly because i'm just building as fast as i can this is not i'm not putting too many too much detail here um i would have made it into like just a box and then made holes added glass made made passages for air to come through probably no probably it's gonna be fully air, air conditioned but this is an, an easy way to make a custom building in city skylines this is what this would be amazing for a train station if you guys want to build your own custom train station you can apply the same um building strategy that i have here by placing a glass roof on top and using pillars as pillars yeah road pillars as building pillars so yeah i decided to make it into a diagonal shape to make it a little bit unique and i'm placing them in spaces that would make sense so yeah the roof seemed a little bit high so later on you'll see me um push it down and i want to make it a bit more green i was thinking of just placing down a basic wall but a basic wall in magayon we don't want anything basic here unless it's like you know affordable housing because 
that's that but affordable housing can be beautiful you know what i mean it doesn't always have to be just a box it can be amazing but yeah architects architects anyways i'm adding in these green wall right here i was imagining that if this was real life it'd be just moss growing on a concrete wall growing naturally because we want to preserve we want to have as much green space in the city as possible and yeah this is the part where i sink down the roof i mean the elevate what the what's the proper term i can't think of it it's on the top of my it's on the top of my head but i just can't get to think of it but yeah to hide the pillars from sight i place down a pedestrian path with no fences an elevated pedestrian path which is quite nice it just makes it it's kind of like the roof framing of it but it's a path you could also use this if you want to instead of placing a glass surface you can add a grass surface and you can make this into an, an elevated park a park on top of the amusement park itself like green spaces but i'm just gonna keep it into a glass because once again indoor outdoor and i'm not actually putting that much detail here this is just a simple way to customize builds to make custom builds in city skylines and yeah i'm gonna be adding in some custom line work there and here i'm also adding in some foliage along the roller coaster i don't know if this is realistic because of maintenance and stuff but yeah it is what it is so here is the station i've reworked this once again as you can see it's brand new the roundabout as you can see there i placed a dutch roundabout thingy there and an earth a rotating globe because in real life we have a giant rotating globe in sm as you can see right here and recently there has been this like promotional like thing where it was stolen for the movie red notice on netflix and everybody was like crazy it was like 2 a.m that night that i that i saw it was trending on twitter and then everybody was like what's happening what's happening and a lot of um, conspiracies popped up but basically it was just an advertising promotion by netflix and yeah i thought it was kind of cool and the movie was cool this is not sponsored by netflix we haven't reached that level of uh, level quite yet but hopefully we get some sponsors any sponsors out there i would be very much wanting to share your products with my audience yes wow <laughs> If you guys want to show your support to the channel, consider becoming a patron on patreon.com slash and get exclusive content, early access, and so much more. Yes, that's a weird segue into the Patreon page. But yeah, if you guys want to show your support to the channel, go to Patreon. We have the map there, the save game, and a lot more. So exclusive content, very exclusive. Here, I just, you know, fixed the intersection marking tool to enter the mall bikeable safe efficient amazing and i'm also going to be adding in some so yeah we we have like a very walkable space and we have a very bikeable space but since this is a tropic it's quite quite bright it's quite sunny so i decided to place down this thing right here i think this is um i don't know what this is called this is a pagoda I don't know it's a roof deck a roof covering we have a lot of these in malls especially in i think ayala i am not sure i haven't been to manila in such a long time and i haven't been outside in a long time as well but basically this is protecting you from the sun partially uh, but yeah here it was quite a bit um empty so i decided to place down a fountain so I placed down a fountain right here, and that fountain is two levels. We have a big bottom level and a top bottom level. A top upper level. <laughs> top bottom, what does that even mean? It's on the top, but it's below. What? 
Anyways, adding in detail by placing down these cascading waterfalls and using PO to make them smaller so that the top upper level can go to the bottom bottom level. And I also placed down some fountain jets right there, as you can see, three on each side. And I'm adding in foliage, some lilies to give it a bit more detail. I'm also going to be adding in some trees here on the side and filling in this area, that side. That's going to be like a park area I'm gonna be adding in more trees there i'm not going to be going high detail i just want to make this look aesthetically pleasing and for it to work but yeah now we are finishing off with this build this is a football stadium on top of the mall now there is actually a plan for building this in real life in SM Mall of Asia and I decided to make it come to life here in Magayon because Magayon will be hosting the Olympics in 2036 in the lore okay in the lore you know why not and I'm adding in this like it's basically just a PO'd football field paired with network stairs for seating using node controller to make it wider and adding in these railway roof uh, networks so that we have a roof and using a node controller once again to make it get this cute little angle right here it's not actually a cute little angle it's very beautiful it's like wings it's giving japanese curves arches i don't know and yeah so this is the football stadium and that is the end of the build for today this is future me speaking an entire month after building this so it's actually march now hey so we need a march video so i decided to push this forward because i've been literally super busy with school i haven't had the time for the past few weeks to play city skylines and i don't think i would have any in a coming weeks i will be having there there might be a midterm break but we'll see we'll see uploads i'm trying to be more consistent in the future but i cannot guarantee it but during the summer of course we're going to be having more videos then because i'll be having more time to play city skylines so yeah if you enjoyed this video, show your support by becoming a patron on patreon.com slash Calejandro. You get exclusive content, early access, and so much more. If you can't, that's okay. You can still click like, subscribe, and click that bell notification to be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. This is Calejandro, signing off.